Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I've got this polycarbonate lean-to porch on the back of my house. And I've just noticed that some water has gotten into some of the, the gaps. It's a twin wall system, so there's a top and a bottom and there's water in between some of them. So I'm gonna see if I can get it out. Looking up from underneath now. This panel, this panel are clear. This one has water maybe about 50 mil in the bottom and then some of it goes way up about a meter and a half up to there. This one's about half a meter of water and then the last one's clear. We've had a lot of rain over the last few days and I'm not entirely sure how it got in but the ends aren't sealed. They're covered with a special tape that has tape on both sides and you fold it over uh, like a C-shape around the bottom and it has a little ventilation uh, like porousness about it it's porous tape I guess ventilation tape but it stops insects getting in but in theory it lets moisture out it's obviously lets moisture in as well uh, and then on the bottom there's tape as well as on the top but there's also a plastic strip and I wonder if I let that plastic strip off it'll be filthy uh, will that let the water out so I'll go up on this ladder and see how I get on so this is it from the top and it's quite green but uh, that's that's a completely different issue so let's see if we can release this strip. If we pull it off in the center. Yeah, it's immediately starting to drip out. You can see what I mean there. The tape goes up to about, well, the tape actually only goes up to the edge of the white. But it's, uh, it hasn't got any it's really dirty. The tape only goes up to here, but the adhesive part of the tape goes from here to here, then has a gap, and then it's wrapped around and goes underneath as well. So the bit in the center is theoretically porous, and you can see the drips coming out of it now. So what I'll do is I'll pull this off and give it a clean. I'll do the same over here. You can see that water there goes up to there, and then this one goes all the way up. I don't know if it's an issue with flashing. The flashing here is just tape. It's um, bituminous tape. So it, it could be that the water's come in the tape behind it. There's little bits there. You know, it won't be perfect. But I've no, I've no idea really. Like you can see the tape's pulling off over there, but it's still, it's not letting water in from below. No more than having an open sided thing will let water in all around anyways. all snotty there. I'm gonna to have to get a cloth or a brush and very gently give this a clean. There's algae or something there but you can see it's dripping down already so a little wash should have it should have it done. So I'm using the same water that I used to clean them and they're far cleaner now. It isn't really dirty. It's just a bit of this green. might end up leaving it overnight or something. I bet you, you could vacuum it out if I was to use a wet and dry. Would that be a good idea? Just moisten it first because it seems that, that helps a lot if it's a bit damp. Obviously working three meters up on a ladder is good for the nerves. This 
stuff. I'm not going to <laughs> keep cleaning this. I could do this all day and still you see the green stripes on it. It's coming into winter, so there's not much point in doing it now. Oh, don't want it to spill on me. Right, left-handed operations. And reaching while on a ladder, that's always good. It is strange that the ones on the ends didn't... It's strange that this one didn't leak, but this one and the one beside it did. I don't really... or leak or fill, I don't know what you'd call it. Fill with water. I don't really like that vine being grown there like that. I'd prefer if it wasn't tucked in underneath the plastic. Uh, I've never cleaned this in five years. It's been, no, four years. It's been up for four years now. It's never needed cleaning. And it's never had water in it like this. You can see actually the water is bleeding out. It's come down 10 mil <laughs> since I started. So that's something. And you can see there, it's come down about 20 mil there, five mil here, and quite a bit more over here, strangely. That is strange. So it is, it is coming out, so the system, so the job is working, the task is going to plan. If only my fingers could fit in between this ladder here, get in underneath and give that a clean. It actually doesn't need a clean, it's just me being pedantic about this black, green algae. While I'm up here, I might as well do the same in the gutter, because I'm here. So should I leave it until tomorrow, perhaps, until... So they've all drained down. You see, this one's draining down quite quickly here. Or should I get the wet and dry? and rinse away some of that stuff that was in there. See this one here still has a load of water in it. It is running out so maybe it was just the slime that had caught it or maybe these were pushed on a bit too far. They're on as far as they'll go but I don't know. I'd like to be finished up here. Let's get the wet and dry. So this is my Vax. I think it's a 6131 wet and dry, but it's not really configured for wet and dry.
Okay, well, sucking it did work, but it also damaged the tape, which I don't really want to do. And that's what those plastic covers are for. They're there to protect the tape. So I'm not going to do any more of that sucking because I'm only going to wreck it. I tried a bit here as well, but I didn't see it moving. It's, mo it's moving by itself and that's probably good enough. These ones are nearly done. It might be finished tonight. It's this one here that's the slow one, or well, the longest one. In theory, it's got more pressure, but you can see it dripping away there. So I guess I just have to leave it. I can't imagine the water came in from beneath. It had to come in from up above, up there. So it must be the flashing. But like I say, it's the first time in four years. So I'm not particularly worried about it. I'll come back and fit them tomorrow or later on tonight. We'll see. It's a couple of days later and it's still got water in some of them. The main ones have drained down, except for this one seems to have a lot here. What's that? It's almost six inches. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Oh look, this one's draining from one into the other. That's really strange. I wonder if it's the ends that need to be cleaned out then somehow. So this one, the end has dried, but then not all the way along to here and then it's dry out here no it's not it's this one's the one that's way up so it's been two days you know I could go through it puncturing them with a pin or something because they're probably just clogged up with that one's dry up to there probably just clogged up with algae and bits and stuff you know the other thing I thought was I could use a towel try and wick it out with the towel That doesn't seem to work either. I would like to put it back together. It is drawing out very, very slowly when I squeeze it and wick it and wipe it and whatnot, but it's not, it's not good enough. I want them empty. I want to finish up. See, they have condensation in there, and so do the other ones, but the other ones it'll dry out again when it gets sunny. You can see they are dripping, so whatever I've done there has started it off. Probably just has almost no pressure. So there's some good drips coming. So just with the towel there, you can see droplets forming on top as I wipe it off and then it's dripping out. So by keeping the towel on it, it seems to be wicking it up. And these ones have dropped by this much in three or four minutes. But that water is quite cloudy in there. So there's probably some kind of algae or something growing in there and that's blocking the pores. Just as I'm holding the towel here, you can see these ones running down just as I hold it. So they're filling from one and emptying from another and they are coming down. Just 
just have to wick the water out. It does seem to be working. It's about halfway down now. The other side is almost done. It's come down quite a bit too, just from wiping and cleaning. I've only been up here just a few minutes. But it is pretty tedious. So I peeled back the tape on this side and you can see it drain out there under my finger. But you can also see this algae and that's what's blocking the pores of the tape, I imagine. It's just like snotty, snotty green algae. The only reason I'm not worried about this is because it'll, um, see there that bubble dropping? The reason I'm not worried about it is because I'm going to put the cover back on so it'll put the tape and hold it in place again. But what you could do is just buy another roll of tape after after five years. It's another option of course. So that's gotten this much clearer. There's still a bit down here so I'll just keep working at it. So in the end the fastest way and I should have started with it was to just peel back the paper and then it drips out and you can dry it if you want but I'm not really sure that I'll bother. I'll have to slide on these things now. Start at one end. just need to help it up, lift up the plastic sheet to get it on there. I'm not entirely pleased by this bit here because the tape's not down. The tape's not in its original position, but I think it'll be okay. I suspect in a year's time I'm gonna have to come back and redo this tape. So all I did there was just give it a wiggle to get it on and give it a push. It seemed to be far easier. Here, I'll just lift it up, push it in. back on and that's as good as it's gonna get it's still got condensation in it but that should be able to breathe out at least all the water's gone if that's the kind of thing that would annoy you tell me about it in the comments or just give the video a like thanks for watching see you later